Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Ensuring the Built Environment. Today we are talking about bi-directional charging and how it is poised to change the way that we think about home energy storage and the EVs that we buy and what the financial incentives are for using bi-directional charging and how it can impact your insurance. So what is bi-directional charging? Well, a, an EV that has bi-directional charging that's connected to a bi-directional charger in your home is able to not only charge from the grid to charge the battery in the EV, but it can also send that electricity back to your home or even sell it back to the utility for an incremental for incremental revenue. And uh, so it turns out that when you compare the cost of an EV with an EV battery to a home energy storage system, the home energy storage system is much more expensive per kilowatt hour of installed power than the EV with bi-directional charging. So for instance, uh, a Tesla Powerwall might cost $15,000 installed, whereas a uh, a Tesla Model 3, you know, might cost $50,000, something like that, 55K. And, but its battery will have uh, somewhere between six to eight times the power of the Tesla Powerwall. So if you have bi-directional charging installed uh, in your home and you have an EV that has bi-directional charging technology, you'll be able to have much more power for your home to power your home or to sell back to the grid than you would if you just had a home energy storage system. Now, Tesla, I don't believe has bi-directional charging set up right now, but I would imagine that they will offer it in the near future and that it will that they will directly cannibalize their home energy storage business by doing that. I, I would expect that in the next 12 to 24 months that Tesla will announce that they're offering bi-directional charging. It's just inevitable. I mean, you can see it. I think the other uh, major company that offers bi-directional charging is the Ford F-150 Lightning, which is, has a 120 kilowatt hour battery, which is a massive battery. And I've heard it can charge your home for as much as three days. So I would imagine Tesla to do the same thing and they will just promote the battery with bi-directional charging as being yet another reason to buy one of their vehicles and it'll just compete with the Tesla Powerwall as another way to uh, provide additional resilience to your home and also to the grid. Now, one good thing that's uh, to note is that in the recent package of financial incentives that was passed in late 2022 called the Inflation Reduction Act, there was an EV charging infrastructure tax credit, which was included in that Inflation Reduction Act. And that tax credit allows homeowners and businesses to take up to 30% tax credit on the installation of a bi-directional charger in their home or business. And so if you're thinking about buying a EV, you're probably gonna to wanna to wait to buy one that has bi-directional charging capability and then install a bi-directional charger and you have until 2032 to take advantage of that tax credit, which is up to 30%. Now the rules are different for homeowners and businesses, so check with your accountant about that, but that's a great incentive. Now, one other thing for solar installers is that if they are, if, you are, if you're a solar installer or you're working with a solar installer, uh, the solar installer that is looking to expand what they're offering to offer the installation of, of home energy storage systems or install bi-directional chargers should really make sure that their insurance and their contractual agreements are buttoned up to account for the additional work that's in, required in installing a bi-directional charger. Because a, a solar contractor that's installing bi-directional chargers itself with its employees has a different risk profile than a, a contractor that is subcontracting out that installation to a third party, say another, another solar contractor or an electrician. And so the implications to your insurance are uh, very different depending on the type of business you have, whether you're a solar contractor that is purely a solar sales organization that's setting up sales for homeowners, or you are selling uh, and installing the systems yourself, or if you're selling and then in hiring a subcontractor to install the bi-directional systems, 
you wanna make sure you work with your insurance broker to make sure you have the right insurance and that your GL covers the work that you're doing and that you have the contractual uh, risk transfer language in your uh, contracts with your customers to make sure that they and you are covered accordingly. So bi-directional charging is a new technology that is, I think, poised to totally change the way that people think about energy storage in their homes and the EVs that they buy. And for homeowners that are buying these systems and the contractors that are installing them, it's gonna have implications for your insurance. If you're a homeowner, you're probably gonna see your insurance go up because of the bi-directional charging technology that's in your home. Hopefully it won't go up much, but it may go up a little bit. And then for the contractors that are installing these systems, uh, the language in your insurance policy will dictate how much coverage you have in terms of the type of work you're doing. So it provides you uh, with a lot of options. I think this is a fantastic technology. It's great to know that things are continuing to progress and that the grid is increasingly becoming intertwined with our vehicles and our homes in different ways. And ultimately it's exciting and um, interesting to see where this goes. So uh, I hope you found this interesting. Thanks again for watching. And if you need to get in touch with me, you can go to robfreeman.com or just schedule an appointment with me at the link below this video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.